Okay, so we're uh, finally going to get this fifth race of the international underway. Johnny Craig's got them uh, starting to rack up. We're just a, probably inside a minute. Herman uh, Winning is going to try this port hand tack on again. Breeze has been quite light to variable out here. Uh, Herman's pulling three strings there at the moment, but it's up and down in range. Um, Bates favouring that uh, boat end. And Cocko is spinning around. Not everybody can buy that. Cocko has turned himself around again. Tide's running out. I'm thinking this is going to be potentially a recall. Herman's going right back up to that boat end now with a bit of pace. And uh, a lot of these boats, you can see, are advanced on the bow of the uh, committee boat there. Great trouble. I don't know what time we've got, but, uh, yeah, all those boats will be over. So I'd say we're looking at a general here. And... Uh, might have to move his boat, John, to get a bit of bias down this lured end. So what's he going to do here? They might all have got back behind. There's a gun. And one horn, two horns. So two horns. So that's an individual. Uh, he's going to rely on people coming back. Herman, late starter, but he certainly wasn't over. I don't know how many of these boats were over in the middle of the line. So anyway, the race is underway, race five, and this is uh, the halfway mark of this regatta. And, uh, of course, after the end of this race, the, disc, the first discard comes into play. Now, there's a, Michael Coxon has just turned about. He's heading back to the start boat, so he obviously thinks he was over. And uh, that's a problem for him because he's going to have another discard at that rate. So anyway, the race, as far as we know, is on and uh, the pirate ship is right out there in the tide and that's where you'd want to be. Uh, no, he's pulling away as well. I'd say this is a general, folks. So we'll come back to you uh, when he gets them set up again for start to race five. All right, well, we just heard a uh, prep signal from Johnny Craig, and now we're probably up around 10 to 4, so we've been a while to uh, reset this second start for race 5, and uh, you can see these fin dinghies coming, filtering down through the start line area here, so Johnny saw them, and obviously he had a delay. Wouldn't have been much fun for those guys with the 18s just smoking straight into them. They're uh, pushing a lot of current. They're heading to a mark down near the 18s mark, but... Right now they're all pretty much clear of the uh, start area, so we're looking forward to getting the fleet away. Remains to be seen if they all behave themselves. Um, yeah, this is an important race. As we said, the uh, discard comes into play out at the end of this race, so I wonder who will be leading the regatta other than uh, the pirate. Says the uh, four-minute gun, so we'll be back to you shortly. Righto, so we're inside a minute to go, and uh, Herman's uh, done that pin in set up again. Uh, he's just trying to gauge his way whether those starboard tackers, which are coming down the line now, uh, are going to pin him out or not. So he's trying to set up and he's trying to squeeze in there for mine. He's got a couple of ASL boats with him, but I don't think they're going to give him too much grief. So Michael Cox and uh, just starting to put his bow down. Now, the intention Cocko's got is to be right on this pin end on starboard. There's Johnny Winning setting up for that as well. So Herman might get shut right down on this manoeuvre here, in which case he's going to have to take a lot of t uh, sterns to get out of trouble. You can see Cocko coming in with pace. He's got his bow down. He's trying to get down there as quick as he can. Probably inside five seconds now. Anyway, they've pulled the trigger. There's the gun. I would say that's a clear start, and Herman is taking a lot of turns there. Uh, Johnny Winning probably got the best of it. He's put Cocko about. So Woody uh, cracked that pin and start, and it just remains to be seen how far he comes in. Now, looking out into the centre of the uh, bay here, from our vantage point on the OB, you can see there's quite a, a line of pressure. So it's going to be important to keep your eyes out of the boat today. And I think Cocko is going the right way. Howie Hamlin was the first to the lured of the boat end, sorry, uh, pack to head out into the middle. And I think that's the way to go. You get out there, you're going to get more tow from that three knots of current. Right to the left, you can see Herman uh, gauging in on him, although Howie's quite a way to, to lured of him. And I think that's the way to go. Woody's persevering with this uh, Chrissy Field shore. He's coming right into this yellow pin. And he just likes that uh, bit of, well, it's looking like pressure off the uh, Chrissy Field shore. We'll soon see if he 
can uh, get a nice screw up there, but he's, there he goes, he's got his bow up, so that might be what Woody's after. In the meantime, the others out wider have got a more bow down, and they're out in the current. There's Panasonic, John O'Witty, he should fare pretty well. Now, he's got a pretty light crew, so John O's got his race face on. He could get up there and ruffle these front runners up a bit today. But right now, Coco probably leads him. He's right out in the middle there and uh, completely, complete blame to himself. Totally on his own, three strings and uh, looking famous. So anyway, we'll break from this and we'll see at the top mark and see who gets him up there. Okay, so there's our race leader, Michael Coxon, Aaron Lynx and uh, Trent Barnabas. Got him again. Nice, comfortable little lead there. There goes the shoot and uh, Coco following on from uh, yesterday's heats where he got led all the way. So is it going to be this again? He's now jibing, clearing his air. He's going to head out into the tide. Must see some breeze coming down there. Now, next around should be John winning Senior, yeah, Woody's around, he's jibed also, he's doing a job set. And the other boat I think in there is uh, Panasonic is in third. We saw Jono go up this shore, this Chrissy Field shore with uh, Yandu, so a white shoot, two blues, Herman Winning's around, the uh, drunk monkey trying to set he pull his shoot on, just in front of uh, the pirates, and uh, not sure who that could be a Kiwi boat with the other white shoot with uh, Panasonic there. Anyway, they're on their way to the gate. Uh, Thurlow Fisher heads them and John Winning Senior in second place. Go Woody. He'd like to uh, grab a bullet out of this. So sit tight. We're uh, on our way to the gate. So our, interestingly, our dream team from day one and dream... Part two, Dream Team from day two, has uh, taken a bit of a uh, swallow a pretty bit of pill. He's way off the uh, pace here today. He, he got a bad start and went right out wide with Howie, but Howie's uh, taking care of him. And you can see him heading right out there abreast of Al Alcatraz, and all the other boats have come through him on the inside down this Chrissy Field shore. So they're just buying a bit more pain out there. I don't know why they're going out into that current, but... Uh, Anyway, hopefully they can uh, see something that we can't, but Herman's out the back door at the moment. A lot of work to do. All right, from where we're standing here, it looks like this race has tightened up. Up for that bottom mark round, and Coco is on approach, and so is Panasonic. And Coco shoot down, and he's uh, coming up, pressuring up to the mark. I can still see Panasonic shoot, so the angle's a bit hard for us to tell, but that was a... F a lot of hectic jibe angles going down there. It's a lot lighter today, so they've been hold, able to, had to sail higher angles to heat their boats up. And of course the fleet was going every which way. Coco was doing a lot of covering, so he did more jibes than anybody, I think, in the end. But anyway, the uh, wash up to all of that is Coco is still our leader, and I think that's Panasonic in second place. Very close for third. Uh, Howie's right up in there, I can tell you that much. He had a really good run. He went right in out of the uh, tide on this right-hand shore. So I'm, I'm expecting Howie to be in third place with Woody somewhere. But uh, we'll sit tight here now. You can see they're all trying to buy a piece of those uh, first six places. So we'll sit tight here and watch them come back through the gate for the first time. So as Michael Coxon and the guys approach the gate, uh, the Windward Gate, for the first time, uh, big black container vessel out there, Horizon Lines, you can't miss that. Coco uh, timed it nicely and he's going to sail through the gate. Now that ship is going to cut straight through all these uh, other skiffs that are tacking towards these uh, gate marks and uh, somebody's going to dip out out there and the pirates at this point in time are going straight at it, as pirates should I suppose. Uh, Probably got the guns out and loaded. No, he's just tacking off now, so he'd want to get out of there in a hurry. They don't like being uh, balked, these guys. They're smoking along, they're probably doing about 16 knots. So there goes, just like a 
10 pin alley, the bowling, uh, the pins are the 18s and the ball is the uh, big black ship. So anyway, Coco has done it to them again. He's uh, maintained his lead and second on the racetrack, which is a very closely fought contest now, is uh, John winning or Panasonic. Panasonic going extremely well. How he's pulled into them. He'd be currently in uh, fourth place and CT Battens, Alex Valens. Uh, first of the Kiwi boats and he's dropped the other two Kiwis off behind him so that's our fleet that's the front end of it, Coco's uh, got them under control at the moment so come back to you at that top mark rounding uh, Coco leads looking solid as so round comes our leader Top mark for the second time under the Golden Gate. It's Michael Cox and Aaron Lynx and Trent Barnabas has just pulled that big white shoot on. And we're out of there. I'd say they've probably extended maybe another, I don't know, 20 metres or so, because the next boat across there is uh, Panasonic, John O'Witty. Great job, those guys. We thought they might have uh, made a good account of themselves today in this little lighter conditions out here. And sure enough, Jibby's bow down, hold it up Jono and Woody's right on his tail so they're having a good close race blue shoot up Panasonic and the blue shoot of Yandu will hit the top of the mast any second, now the fourth boat around in hot pursuit of Woody, these two like to race neck and neck is Howie Hamlin's boat, the CST Composites, Howie's more in touch today so quick jibe away, he's uh, going to clear himself and head out into the current uh, he's obviously got some pressure there. In the meantime, Coco has done the same thing. He's jibed off and gone out. To, it's all about jibe angles out here. You've got to have your head out of the boat and looking for pressure. And Coco has done a good job of that. He is smoking along out there. And uh, I would say in another 10 or 15 seconds, you'll see that Bow go down and he'll go through a jibe and set up this uh, gate mark again. There he goes. Coco through and uh, Howie will do a similar line. Panasonic continuing on down this uh, Chrissy Field shore with that blue chute. Woody has jibed out to uh, heat up his angles, but Jono, lighter cruise, just happy to take the uh, soak down there and run his, boat, run his bow down, going into the jibe now. So all boats heading out into the centre, and uh, Coco in the meantime has jibed to come back. See you in a minute at the gate mark. What do you shoot? You still rolling? Okay, so at the gate mark, possibly for the last time, uh, still Thurlow Fisher, still that nice little cushion there back to uh, Johnny winning now in second place. Jono uh, dipped out going down that Chrissy Field shore and look who's right up his uh, transom. It's his old buddy, Howie Hamlin. Uh, Fritz and Matt is gauging in on the back of uh, so it looks like we're going to be in for a ding dong with these two this could be interesting for second place Panasonic dropped off to fourth and uh, Alex Valling's boat with a wide shoot out there the CT Battens back into fifth it's okay we'll cut from this and uh, meanwhile the rest of the fleet the Pirates still out the back door not sure uh, what's on their minds today, but sure as hell, that's a discard. Don't forget the discards come into play at the end of this race, and Herman's just bought himself one. And uh, if Coco goes on to win it, he'll be tied on points with uh, Appliances Online, the Pirates. See you in a second. So, uh, as they turn the bottom mark, uh, the lead is still the same. Coco. From go to woe, I can't see anybody getting the better of him, although there's been a change in positions in second place. Howie Hamlin has got the better of uh, the Yandu guys. Johnny Winning uh, actually punted it and uh, punted and went out with his spinnaker, took the blue shoot out into the tide zone. Howie went the opposite way and it paid big time. So Howie was able to uh, take a big jump over him. So he's got a nice little lead on... Uh, Woody, which I don't think he'll relinquish in a hurry. Uh, if they get, if Woody gets close to him, I think it'll be uh, cover city all the way to the finish. So how he's finally got himself in a two. Uh, Woody second, uh, sorry third, and uh, Panasonic uh, was the big loser out of that. He ended up dropping back to fourth. So they're on their way to the judge. Johnny Craig will be uh, finishing him up here shortly, and uh, and that'll put race five to bed.
and we're going to have a tied up regatta at that point because the Pirates who had a uh, disastrously disaster in that race did everything wrong that I could see, took on the tide as if it wasn't there and paid the price. So at any rate, they've had a perfect card, uh, almost a perfect card up to the start of this race. They've had two wins in two seconds. So they're going to drop this race that uh, they're carrying on with at the moment. So they'll discard that. Coco will drop his uh, seventh from the other day. So you're going to have a tide regatta. Both boats on six points. So uh, looking good for the next race, which will be getting underway straight after this. Okay, so we're just uh, watching how much current effect there is out there when uh, Thurlow Fisher and the boys tack, they were in front of the start boat uh, about three or four minutes ago, sailing straight towards us and now that current has lifted them up uh, the track, it's like a conveyor belt, probably about 150 metres, so Coco's uh, done a great job of laying this and he sucked all the other ones into going up with him so they really nobody had a, an early shot at it uh, to come across early which could have put a bit of heat on uh, not so much on Coco but on the minor places so yeah a lot of current out there and to go out and take that current on going down to Alcatraz uh, Alcatraz is just uh, MAD so here he comes all the way winner of uh, race five at the International Great job. Uh, these guys are going to just keep doing this if uh, if they get their own way on that start line. So, great job. Thurlow Fisher now equal points as a result of that. The, disc the discard comes into play automatically as he crosses the line. So, he's equal on six points with appliances online. And uh, John winning somehow or other after, uh, I thought, tailing Howie Hammer around that bottom turn market, Alcatraz has uh, picked it up. He's coming underneath Howie, so maybe that little uh, feature of what I was saying, to tack early would have been smart because the current is going to sweep you up to the line. Anyway, Woody, great job. A two for them, so they're solid as a rock. They're right in the picture on the podium for the points now. Howie probably dropped a bit in the end to... Uh, Alex Valling's there. Alex has uh, caught up a lot to both Woody and uh, CST Composite. So through goes Howie and through CT Battens. And of course the boat that uh, bombed out of that podium finishes John O'Witty and the Panasonic. So they're just coming up to the line now. And they'll take a six, which uh, is not bad uh, points. That'll be a keeper for them. So through they go. So that's our top six for Heat 5. We'll come back to you for the start of Heat 6, which hopefully will be coming up in no time at all. Uh, Johnny Craig will want to get ashore as soon as he can, likewise the crew. So we'll come back to you shortly with this, the lead-in to Race 6.